Uh, my name is Ines Renner, and I teach math at PAC, Pearson Adult Center. Uh, my name is Jordan Venn, and I teach math at the Pearson Adult Career Center. I spoke with Ines and Jordan about this idea of a math person myth and the impact it has on their students' learning. So I find it useful to think about um, the misconceptions that students have about math on the first day of class. Students come to math class with a lot of baggage, their own personal history, their experience with math. I think it's important to address that because a lot of their history with math and their math baggage is negative and they have negative ideas about math and about themselves as math doers. And a good way to start class is to address that and to talk about how you move forward in a positive way. In defining like what they think about math, they're talking about the speed at which people can solve problems or calculate, how much they can calculate in their head, and how much they can do in a day, how fast they're learning it. These are all ways in which they think they're measuring how good someone is at math. And by doing that, the opposite is also true, that if it takes you time to do something or you're taking your time that you're not good, that you're struggling and that you'll never be good. Yeah. Other misconceptions are that uh, math is about memorizing steps instead of having math be about figuring out patterns and finding overall structure in a problem um, and working from there. Other misconceptions about math are oh, you're born a math yeah, person. Yeah, you're either good at gym or you're good at math, you know what I mean? Or that it's, oh, we're not a math family. That's like one that a lot of students are told, and I'm pretty sure adult ed go home and then tell their kids the same thing, and then they're just perpetuating that idea of like self-failure. And if either you're born a math person or not born a math person, then what's the point of even trying because you're just not a math person? Where the, the truth is, everybody has the ability to become a math person. It just takes dedicated practice. But like I said, like, I really feel it's something that they take from the past and like they're really remembering like when I was in math class, this is what math meant. Numbers, uh, drill, uh, like, you know, these activities, these exams, having to tell your parents you didn't do good on an exam. And even, I think, just as an overall culture, we place such a value on hard sciences and math. I've been in elementary schools where when the math exam's coming in the corner, they just cut out anything that's not... They go cut out art, music, forget about it, we don't have time for it. When really, if you have a different view of math, you see that all those, all those things are very complementary and would actually, if we put the emphasis on the, all those things and tied it back into math, I think would, their perception of it would be different. They would, start, they would see math in different topics, right? But we always teach in such a vacuum that that's why they, they think that. They're like, this is the one I'm not good at, right? And they carry that with them.